cause and wanted to donate money to it, if you could immediately turn $1 into $2, wouldn't you take advantage of that? Well, if you've been on YouTube the past few weeks, you have heard about Team Trees, and there's a similar thing going on, and yet people aren't taking advantage of it. It's some weird economics, and that's what we want to talk about today on Market Power. Okay, so something weird is happening with Team Trees. Right after Team Trees launched, YouTube said they would match donations that were done on YouTube up to $1 million and they would help promote Team Trees. And I don't think it's been moving along as we thought. So yesterday I was watching Jerry Rig Everything's new video on Team Trees where he makes a miter saw table. And I noticed over on the side that the YouTube fundraiser only had $447,255 towards Team Trees. That's since October 30th. That's almost two weeks since this started, the matching donation. We've only, we've donated less than half a million dollars on YouTube. Now, if you've seen my other Team Trees videos, you know that I've been tracking the data on Team Trees, and I can tell you that since October 30th, we've donated 4.7 million trees. And that's after some of those big donations that happened on October 30th. So I'm just talking about Halloween till now, 4.7 million trees, but less than half a million of those have gone through YouTube. Why aren't we doubling the amount of trees that we're donating? I've got a few hypotheses, so I'm gonna try a few of these things I wanna look at it. So the first thing might be that it is easier to donate on Team Trees than it is on YouTube. So let me go ahead and try donating on YouTube and see how easy it is. On the other Team Trees videos, I made about $10 in ad revenue, which isn't that much, but I'm not a very big channel, so that's to be expected. So I'm gonna try just donating $10 to Team Trees here on the YouTube platform. So I'm just gonna go over here to donate. Um, I want other, I'm gonna put 10, continue. Mm -hmm. Donate. Well, there you go. That was really easy. So I don't understand why, that, I don't think that's an impediment to people donating on YouTube. So if donating on YouTube is easy, then I don't see how that could be an impediment. Maybe it's because you don't get the name recognition. So if you go and donate on Team Trees, you get your name on there, you get to put a little comment, but those comments only last for a little bit. You can see that the difference between this top comment and this last comment is just a few minutes. You're not gonna have your name on there that long. So it makes sense that maybe some of the big people wanna keep it on, because if you they've got a special tab for most trees, and you're gonna have people on there for a really long time because they've donated huge amounts. So it makes sense to have for the name recognition there, but it doesn't really make sense for a small donor like me or you to donate on Team Trees if we want to see our name. So that's not a very good explanation either. Why are we behaving irrationally? This is weird for economists to think about. So if it's easy to donate and you get just as much name recognition as if you were to go onto the Team Trees website, why aren't people donating over here on YouTube when they can get twice as much for what they donate? I think it's because people just don't realize that that's what they should be doing. One solution to this is just to tell more people that's how they should be donating. But if this person had made that donation over on YouTube, then that $1 would have been $2. And that 11 trees would have been 22 trees. So there's this economic puzzle, like why are people donating here when they could double their investment if they donated on YouTube. Another solution is that I'm not even gonna put a link to Team Trees down here. I'm just having the fundraiser right here. Go to the fundraiser if you wanna donate so that way you double your donation. Go ahead and watch some of these other videos on Team Trees if you're interested in what we've been doing here. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on Market Power.